There's life. There is life. Spiders and shit. Don't know where the frogs are put. Tadpoles. It's normally a lizard, guys. It was well with you Four stars out of five Yeah, so guys, as you saw, I'm obsessed with that new Arctic Monkeys album. Sick album. Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. And the casino. Sounds like a fun place. Bearing in mind, if you watch the 4 out of 5 music video, it's so weird. It looks like a stately home. I don't know which stately home. But anyway, Alex Turner is back as the Arctic Monkeys. The whole crew is there. I don't know any other band members. Alex Turner obviously he's done solo stuff over the years. A few other bands as well. But he's back with his Sith album. I mean, Arctic Monkeys are back. It's not one guy. But that's how it is with a band. You, know, you end up talking about the front man. But no, that music video is crazy. Um, he's in, I don't know which state we home, it's like Somerset House or somewhere, but it does give the feel of like a 80s Bond movie or 70s Bond movie, and it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit psychedelic, it reminds me of, I don't know, because he does so many different like scenes in the, in the video, so, so much going on to understand, but I love it, I can't stop listening to it guys, the whole album, I've got it saved on my Spotify playlist, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to download it from because that would be demonetized. But yeah, um, anyway, this is what he's known for. The older songs, the other, other albums that we all came to know and love. And if you're new to Arctic Monkeys and listen to the music, well, you don't know what you've been missing, basically. And this is more for the viewers that don't know them so well. So basically started in like 2002 first album in 06, then they released the album the next year in 07, two albums within the space of two years because of the success of the first album. But they were already quite famous because at any concert they did or any small show they would give out free CDs of their music. So the whole world came to know them before they even released their first album. So yeah, let me roll some more clips of their earlier stuff just to give you an idea and then I'll talk more in depth about the new song and the new album. In a bit. I'm a puppet on a string. Billing drinks on my sexy. The Arctic Monkeys. Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. Really interesting name for an album. I've listened to the whole album. Um, yeah, on the album, obviously, four stars out of five is a good song. But you'll notice from the the actual website I'm looking at now, enemy.com, the article by Thomas Smith, he's given it four stars out of five, ironically or on purpose. I would have given it five out of five, but he's just to just to blend in with the song, I guess. Four stars out of five. It's good though, it's good. I'm going to read a bit of this article, the same article I'm talking about, on enemy.com. Enemy being a really popular rock magazine over the years. I've read the book, so I know all about them. Um, I think I mentioned that in the previous vlog. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, enemy.com has a full story. It's just a review. I want to read like, one, of the, one of the paragraphs. Or you might well, just read it yourself. Compar I got paper here. That's organised. I'm a newsreader now. I'm Gloria Borger, and this is Pew News. <laughs> Stop, Brad or Brad? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs>
She's a real person, but everyone gets him mixed up. Anyway, I'm completely off topic. So yeah, I'm gonna read from here. It says, composed initially on a piano by Alex Turner in his LA pad. I might paraphrase. So these songs were given the go-ahead by guitarist Jamie Cook, who felt they were appropriate enough to for the band to record. Tranquility Basso to Casino, however, is a close is as close as we've ever come ever been to hearing Alex Turner side of record. Yeah, I will paraphrase, guys, because I'm always saying the wrong words. I can read, by the way. I did get educated normally. Okay. So, however, is as close as we've been to hearing an Alex Turner solo record outside of his solo track, the 2010 film Submarine. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen that. But he did work with Jake Bug um, on a few few songs. An album, I think. They got a band together last, Shadow Puppets. They've done two albums over the years, in between when Arctic Monkeys haven't been playing, or writing songs, or making songs. Okay, back to the article. There's a noticeable lack of workable choruses. Several of the songs feature a leisurely pace that's a far cry from most Arctic Monkeys material, and most of the 40 minute <laughs> record is occupied by Turner's crooning. Crooning? Crooning, crooning, whatever. Yeah. From the opening draw of I just wanted to be one of the strokes. Now I look at the mess you made me make. I like that lyric, that's from one point perspective. See, I'm already an expert, guys. But yeah, there's another, another song I'd recommend on the album. American Sports, that's pretty good. Okay. I did mean to just read this, guys, but I know too much about this band. Just read this. It's evident that he's not just an architect of the lavish establishment. He's a concierge, tower boy, bartender, and everything in between. Thomas Smith, that's a good piece of writing right there. Reminds me of my uni journalism and media days. Ah, paper. I got about eight paper cuts, guys. The modern world is not fit for paper. All right. So yeah, there's another article from NME as well. Noel Gallagher um, spoke a bit about this album. So I'm gonna just read what he says. Appearing on Radio X, Noel Gallagher was asked about his thoughts on the new album. This is him speaking. Do you know what? I've just been listening to it in the car on the way here. and I don't know what to make of it, he replied. I was gonna do a bit of an accent, but I'm not good. Okay, so the host, Gordon Smart, then chatted about Gallagher's experimental last album, but he said, experimental is not really what you expect from the Arctic Monkeys. And he's right, I wouldn't say it's experimental though. Some of it have, has, reminds me of some of their older songs. You know, they're not all, I mean obviously, other, other, other article mentioned, they're a bit different from, from the typical Arctic Monkeys stuff. Uh, their earlier albums was a bit more rock. This is more chilled, like I said. But yeah, I hope you like it as much as I do. I love this album. Um, give it a listen. It's made me go back and listen to all the old stuff. But yeah, literally, it's top of my Spotify list at the moment. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna, I think I'll leave it there, guys. That's enough on the Arctic Monkeys. And the end of this vlog, I would say. Unless the weather remains like this. And I might go and get a nice like ending for this video. A time lapse or something. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this Arctic Monkeys review of the new album. Yeah, so there. That's it. I generally meant to say the name of the album, but I forgot because it's so long. So the album is called Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. It's their new album. Go and check it out. That's it from me on the news at whatever time it is. Yeah. And now for a news outro. Alright guys, see you later on. Peace. Boop. I'm glory
Mario Borga, and this is Punis. <laughs> Stop, Brad or Brad? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I'm right. Move. Move. I'm moving if you don't move. <laughs> no, no, no. Move, man. <laughs> 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 <laughs>